Hey guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and we're going to do a gear review today on my newest cooking gear and quickly becoming my favorite cooking gear. It's the Bushcraft Essentials Bush Box Stove. So stay tuned and we're going to check it out. Okay guys, so I really was looking for a uh, stove to use, a foldable collapsible wood stove. Now I have a Vargo Titanium Hexagon wood stove. And I'll be honest with you guys, I really haven't liked the way that it's performed. Um, I wish I would have done a little more research on wood stoves before I bought it. But it adds to my collection and it is something that I do use at times. But I think it's going to be hard to pull it out over this particular stove for a couple of reasons. So let's take a look first and we're going to weigh this thing now this is the stainless steel version so it's weighing in at 11 ounces and 319 grams so what do you get first of all you get this pretty nice cardura case um, you know certainly keeps things together this was um i think they call it like the i'm not sure what they call it is not the normal stove it's like a pack it comes a little bit extra i'll show you all that so you have the Cardura case, it comes with all the separate pieces, including one piece for the bottom, uh, one piece for a ventilation bottom, and then an extra piece like this to uh, use as a grill top if you want to. So it comes together very simply. What I do is on the two sides, you have front and back, and you have the two sides, which are smaller. I look for the side that has the imprinting. It says bushcraftessentials.com made in Germany. So I'll grab that one and I'll start with that. And they just lock into place. Grab the other side, lock it into place. It takes a little while for these to get really well you know, put together and then the heat will affect them a little bit. So I'll put the solid piece at the bottom and there's little slits in the sides. You just basically put this in and it fits in those slits and it locks into place. So put that in and I'll put this in. And you can see once that's in, it's locked into place. So you just take your front, you drop the front and then you put it in. Always drop it first. I'm going to make sure I don't get soot all over my wife's table. Soot is natural. It happens. So there is the complete stove. You can see it's very sturdy. It has little notches in the top here that kind of locks it in, and that's the key to getting it out, which I'll show you guys. The first time I put it together, I could not get it apart until I just paid a little more attention. So here's the actual stove. It's very sturdy. Uh, you can put any nice size pot on it. This kit came with two uh, side pieces. You can just put these in. They slide in um, right on the top. These I have found take a little finagling because, um, you know, I haven't actually burnt these. The pots I've had have all fit on top. So, um, although I guess it probably would help with airflow if I put these on. Um, anyway, always learning and always thinking. So there you go. You can put that on top. If you want, you could take these off and use this as a grill top. Now the cool thing is it has little notches here. I don't know if you can see that. So the grill top really fits right on and it's, it's pretty stable. I mean, it's not gonna come off. You can see it's on there. So you can grill things on there, no problem. That's a really neat feature. And this is one of the things that I like a lot more than the Vargo titanium uh, stove. I bought a little square piece from Dutchware Gear, which is uh, his flies, um, cooktop. Basically, it's a piece of titanium where he cuts all of his Dutch flies out of and the pattern is left. It's a little block and you can buy it as a grill top. 
which is a neat grill top, but because uh, it's super lightweight. But the problem is, is that it really wouldn't fit good on that Vargo stove. So I was like, well, how am I gonna figure out a way to make a grill out there if I want to? Well, this is easy. So one other thing. So if you take your Trangia spirit burner, and I'll just leave the top on, y'all get the idea, and it fits right in there. And it fits perfectly. I mean, it's, it's basically designed to hold it. It will give you that one inch clearance that Hiram Cook always talks about, pretty much a one inch clearance. The other thing you can do is take this solid piece out, and I'm just going to use the grill top as an example, but definitely put a solid piece on top to do this. You basically, it has a small groove in the back. You can see it here. So you take one of these lips and you put it in the small groove, and then you lean the other side up over here, and it will put the top like that, or put it on like that. Now remember, this will be solid if you're using it for this purpose. You get yourself an Esbit cube, and you put it right on top, and you are able to use solid fuel, whatever kind of solid fuel you want, right on top of this upper grill plate. So you guys can see this is really, really well thought out. If you're gonna take a piece of gear into the field, you want it to be functional. This is obviously a little uh, higher in weight than a lot of stoves or options like that, but it gives you a lot of versatility. From the standpoint of an emergency stove, this thing is awesome. You can easily create a very fast fire with tiny little sticks, which we'll do in just a little while, I'll show you guys. But other than that, it gives you flexibility to use other forms of fuel, such as the uh, alcohol stove or even solid fuel cubes. So that is a look at the Bushcraft Essentials Bush Box. All right, guys, I think you guys can see why the Bush Box uh, stove by Bushcraft Essentials is quickly becoming one of my favorite pieces of kit. They do make a Bush Box XL, which I would love to get for family trips, but we'll see when the budget allows that. This thing's really easy to take apart. I'll show you guys real quick. One, you, you just have to know the trick. Now, there are little notches here. So if you try to pull straight up, this is not gonna come out. What you have to do is pull a little bit to the side and pull up and it comes right out. Same thing here, just a little bit to the side, comes right out. Those come out, a little bit to the side on this way and you hit it off. Put it all together. And there you go, all back, ready to pack. Very, very versatile stove. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. At the end here, I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna start a little fire in it. If you guys are interested in that, you can stay tuned. Uh, but otherwise, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching the channel. I appreciate the, all the new subscribers. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. And I look forward to doing more gear review videos for you guys in the future. So. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned if you want to watch this bad boy in action. If not, see y'all soon.